everyone. This is Momo from the Steph and Momo Quilt Show. I am here today in the state of New Hampshire, which is my home state, and I'm flying solo, so Steffi's not with me, but we thought it would be kind of fun if I went back to the original quilt shop that I used to go to when I first started sewing, which was many, 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 many years ago. This quilt shop is uh, the Bittersweet Quilt Shop, which is in Bosquin, New Hampshire, and it was started in 1968 by the LaValle family. So I'm very excited to see if they're still running the shop because I went to school with some of the kids and um, share that experience with you because as we're going around from different places, we'd like to share in case you're in the area that maybe you'd like to experience a new quilt shop yourself. So, but before that, I am meeting up with my BFF from high school, Bonnie, and we're going to meet for lunch. So I'll be back with you soon. Okay, folks, here we are at the Bittersweet Fabric Shop. Oh my gosh, it looks just the same as when I first visited it almost 50 years ago. Um, the owners are Donald and Audrey LaValle, like I said earlier, and their son David is the one that now operates the uh, shop. So let's take a look inside. Don and Audrey. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I understand that Janome, you're the Janome dealer, uh, the go-to one in this area. You guys are like, what, the number one, two, three? Number one in the whole Northeast. Wow. North of Pennsylvania. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What is the oldest machine you've ever had to work on? Uh, Elias Howe, 1847. It's right there. He's, oh the, he's the inventor of the, gets credited for the the invention of the sewing machine. Is that right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's amazing. Wow. Well, just since I've been here, I mean, you get a lot of people. Are you mostly just doing um, service now? I see you've got no, some sales fabric. and service, both. Mo yeah. Yeah, we sell a lot of machines. Yeah. And are you strictly a Janome dealer? Janome and Elna. Okay. 
because I have a um, a handy quilter, yep. Avante 18. Yep. And Janome, I understand, just came out with a long arm. That is also part uh, with Janome Engineering. Uh -huh. They're in collaboration with Handy Quilter. Oh, are they? I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because Handy Quilter's in Utah, correct? That is correct. Okay. Because I, I I would have gone with a Janome originally, mm -hmm. but um, at the time you guys weren't making, they weren't making right. it along yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I just realized from a quilt shop out in Ohio that Janome now makes a long arm quilting machine. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh my goodness. I've had a few issues with my handy quilter, nothing that I would be too concerned about, but I wish we had a shop like what you have where you can just come in and have somebody go ahead and fix it for you and have it ready the next day. What type of problem do you have on your handy quilter? Um, mine is mostly just um, the tension. Mm -hmm. I've had issues going back and forth with the tension in that, but I think I finally got it figured out. But uh, it's so very you, sensitive. Okay, so what type of thread do you sew with? I use a uh, King Tut cotton. Okay, so that's a thick thread. Right, and I have a, uh, I use a titanium... 18 mm -hmm. needle on it. Why so large of a needle? Because it's a 40 weight. Thread? Uh-huh. I think you'd be fine with a 16. Okay. To be honest with you. You can use an 18. Don't get, get me wrong there. Uh, so are you getting loops on top or loops underneath? I was having loops underneath. That, that's right. And that would be correct. Yeah, and, th and that was where I was having most of my issues. So can I show you what to do? Sure, I would love to okay. see that. All right. On Facebook. Do you have like an Instagram or anything like I that? I don't do Instagram. Okay, so all. basically just Facebook? Yep, Facebook. And so we're going to go ahead and let's see what we can find out here. I went on um, Google and I was looking up your shop and then I uh, saw the history of the shop and I knew that it had just barely opened up before I started sewing. So when I saw 1968 as the date that it started, I was like, oh my gosh. Now, did this used to be part in the house? It did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's what I remember. I'll tell you a story, but not while that's on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll laugh, though. But I remember going in uh, into the house and the bolts of fabric, and oh my gosh, it was so amazing. When did they uh, build the this here? Uh, 74. 74? Okay. Okay. So uh, here, here's the Janome Dealer Spotlight. They did four of these in the country. Okay. And it talks about our shop here, shows us pictures and everything else like that. And it's a video of actually me talking and everything else like that. Oh, cool. So, uh. And it gives a little history of Bosquin, too? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. They, uh, what they did was they, uh, they picked four dealers in the whole country and, uh, that were passed down from generation to generation because Janome is a family-oriented uh, company. Okay. So they really like to see businesses passed down from one... And with the internet and everything else like that happening now, yeah. that you're going to see that far and few in between anymore. Yeah. Well, oh, this, this is a great place. And I love all your sewing machines. Those are amazing. You must have been collecting those for years and years. I have over 140 featherweights alone. Wow. Wow. You love what you do. I do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. What a great visit to the Bittersweet Shop. David Lavalley was such a tremendous uh, help. He is truly a unique um, person. In talking, he uh, recommended that um, we share the link, uh, Janome deal Janome's uh, Dealer Spotlight for the Bittersweet uh, Fabric Shop. Stephanie, I'm going to have you put the link in below. It talks about the shop, a lot of the work that they do, and um, some of the history of even Bosquin here. So one of the things he shared with me, which was really a cool thing, is every year they give 36 sewing machines away to children who have an interest 
in sewing along with fabric to start their first projects. And uh, this is done at the Vermont Quilt Guild Festival. And uh, he talks about that in the link below. So please check it out. Uh, I learned a few things about my sewing machine and um, just a truly nice, nice man. They do have fabrics, a lot of thread, um, different things that you would need for your Janome, uh, bobbins, you know, some hardware and that. Uh, a few batiks, not a ton of fabrics, but some beautiful, beautiful fabrics. And he had told me if I have any issues at all with my sewing machine, to please give him a call and he would be happy to walk me through it or help me. He talks to people from all over the United States. Um, when I was there, it was really great. There was a couple that brought in a machine. It was from 1951, a Singer sewing machine. And he's like, yeah, no problem. I'll have it fixed, um, should have it ready for you tomorrow. So quick, fast, knowledgeable, definitely just stop in and say hi to David. I, I think you really, really would enjoy him. Um, so glad I stopped in and um, look forward to coming back on a future visit. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. And again, check out uh, David on his Facebook page for the Bittersweet Fabric Shop. Uh, truly a great little place. It's a gem. So subscribe, like, and share. Talk to you soon. Bye.